Okay, once the machine is on the bench, then you've taken off all the plastic from the trays in the cage, and the machine's empty of anything else. The most important thing is the back connections. You've got your power supply and you've got your printer. Make sure that's plugged in at the back. Very important that we have distilled water. You've got a, a water tank where you fill it up with distilled water. Do not go over that little lip. That's the highest level you can put distilled water into. Once you've got the distilled water in there, you can switch your machine on. Please try to make a habit of every time you top it up with distilled water, put your draining hose onto the edge of the used water tap. Turn it anti-clockwise and empty out your used water. Try to make a habit of that. Um, the machine has got sensors, will tell you if it needs water. It will tell you if it needs to be uh, drained and it also will tell you if you've put in tap water or bad water. So it's very important that water light comes on for those three reasons. Once you've set it up and you've got your printer, make sure there's two green lights on your printer. Press the right hand button, brown button, to make sure the paper's feeding okay. Right, your main cycles for, for this machine is once you've got your instruments in there, you distill waters in and you're ready to go, your cycles that you will be doing are 134 degrees, it's the top button, then if you're using sterilisation pouches, it's important that you press that button twice so you've got the little blue light on where you've got an instrument covered in the pouch. If you're going to use the goods straight away and you're not going to use sterilization pouches, please use the, the top one. And you, you can use the instruments within two hours, otherwise they won't be sterilized anymore. There is also a plastic and rubber cycle where you can sterilize at 121 degrees, so from 134 you go down to 121. This does have a, a longer sterilisation cycle, it's 20 minutes, but it won't melt your plastic or rubber instruments that you want to use. So going back to the original, the main one that everybody uses in the beauty industry, You've got your instruments inside, you've got your water there, 134 degrees, packaged, then start. This cycle should run between 30 and 35 minutes and uh, it's a very simple process. I will show you one thing uh, for argument's sake. If you've started a cycle and it finishes and the printer doesn't print. I'm just going to stop this cycle. It will come up fault because I've stopped the cycle. So if you have a look at the uh, printer, I've stopped the cycle. It's going to come up fault, obviously, because it hasn't sterilized your goods. <clears throat> the reason why I've done this is let's just say that you've run out of printer paper or the printer paper's got stuck. Once you fix that problem, it's very important that paper's always being fed from underneath and not from the top and that you 
sensor the paper and click it down, then test to make sure it's not stuck, that it's feeding freely. So going back to what I was starting, you finish your cycle, it hasn't printed or you've run out of paper, once you have fixed the printer problem and providing you do not open the door, you can reprint your last cycle. And to do that is very simple. Don't open the door, keep your finger depressed on the start stop button and it will print your last cycle. It's very important, do not open the door, otherwise you've lost that cycle. You will have to re-sterilize your goods to keep your records. So that's uh, all I can really show you in regard to the machine. Um, obviously, if you need any help, call the office and one of our technicians will talk you through anything that I might have missed out on.